Welcome back to Art Bytes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with assignments in Microsoft Teams using the Teams app for your phone. You can download this from the Google Play Store or from the App Store, depending on what device you're using. So let's go ahead and tap on that now. When you open the Teams app, you can access assignments in three different ways. First, you can access all of your assignments from all of your classes by tapping the backpack icon labeled Assignments down here at the bottom of the screen. If you've got lots of classes, this can quickly get very busy. It's often easier to go directly to your class team by tapping the Teams icon, this little group of people, at the bottom of the screen. Tap on the class you are wanting to view and it will show you a list of available channels for this class. This class only has a general channel, so we'll tap on that. You can see straight away that the teacher has posted the assignment in this channel. So if you know which channel your assignments will be posted in, you can access it by tapping View Assignment down at the bottom here. If you can't find an assignment for your class, check this general channel. Every class will have one and click on More up at the top here. You can then click on Assignments and you'll be able to see all of your assignments for just this class. These are assignments up here that I've not done yet. And if I click on Completed, I can find assignments I've already done down here. I can see I've got an assignment due on the 13th of November. So let's make a start on that by just tapping on that assignment. So you will get instructions with all of your assignments up here. These will be instructions from your teacher. You might also get reference materials here. So that might be something to help you with your assignment. So definitely tap on those and have a look. If your teacher has made something for you to fill in, it will appear here under My Work. So if you just tap on that, it will open up in the app. You can't edit files in this screen. Instead, tap on that little icon that appears in the bottom right to open up the file for editing. Depending on what device you're using, you might need to download another app. In this case, because we're opening a PowerPoint presentation, you might need to go and download the PowerPoint app separately. So once I've got that open up, I can then tap on this pen option to edit it and I can then go in and I can start to make my changes. Once you're done, you can save your work by tapping this little tick up in the top and then the back arrow up at the top again to take you back to that assignment page. Once you're there, you can tap hand in at the top and it'll give you a fun little animation. If you don't tap hand in, your teacher won't be able to get your work. So it's really important that you tap hand in. If you tap it by accident or maybe you've forgotten to upload something, you can just tap undo hand in. And you're then able to add work again. If your teacher hasn't given you something to fill in or wants something else, you can tap on add work. You get a few different options. You can add work from the OneDrive, which is where all of your files are stored in Microsoft Teams. You can also add a new file. So you can choose between a Word document, a PowerPoint presentation, or an Excel spreadsheet. So if I make a new Word document, I give it a name. And then attach it. And once I've done that, I can edit it just like before. I could also add work as a link. So perhaps if I'd done some work on YouTube or and then maybe uploaded it, I could then send a link directly to my teacher. Finally, you can upload from this device. So if maybe you're doing drawings or creating something visual like a poster, you'd need to be able to upload a photograph of that. So you'd tap on upload from this device and it will bring up 
the files that are saved on your phone. Now this screen will probably look different depending on what type of phone you have, so don't panic if yours doesn't look like this, but you just need to find the file you need and then tap it and that will then attach it. So if perhaps you added the wrong file or you've changed your mind about what you've uploaded, you could tap on these three dots at the side and just remove. Once you've handed your work in, you can see what your teacher has said about the work by going back to completed work and tapping on the assignment. You'll be able to see your feedback from your teacher just here. Now this won't appear straight away, you've got to wait for your teacher to actually open up the assignment and give you the feedback. So here we can see my teacher is quite pleased with my work and has asked me to do a bit extra. So if your teacher's asked you to do something extra, or maybe they've let you know that you've forgotten to attach your work, or you've known maybe not answered all of the questions, you can make changes just like you did before, and you can then hand your work in again just up the top like before. Thank you for joining me on Art Bikes. Good luck with your assignments. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. If you've not already, check out my channel for the chance to learn about art and design, drawing, and much, much more.